On this video, we'll be showing you how to adjust the schedule on the ESP TM2 Rainbird controller. Everything on this controller works with this dial and, and these buttons. So, for instance, it is on off right now. If I wanted to move it over to adjust the date and time, I just turn the dial over there, and the function that you're going to be adjusting is going to be blinking. So, for instance, the day, which is the 27th today, is blinking. If I would like to adjust that up or down, I can use the minus or plus buttons to adjust that up or down. Using the arrow to the right and arrow to the left as cursors, then I can move the function I want to adjust over to the month, uh, which is February. And again, plus or minus will adjust that up or down. And then use the arrow to the right to bring you over to your year, which is the 17th right now. And then I will push it again. It will bring me over to the hour, which is 12 p.m. Again, using the plus or the minus, I can adjust that up or down, and then use the arrow again to bring me over to my minutes. Moving the dial down here to start times. This clock has the capacity to have four start times. It will run your waterings, uh, whatever cycle you have set up, it can run it four times a day. On this particular controller, I have it set up at 3 a.m. first start time. Arrow over will bring me to my second start time, which is at 11 p.m., and then the third start time is off, I'm not watering a third time, and my fourth start time is off, I'm not watering a fourth time. If I'd like to get rid of one of my start times, for instance, my second start time, 11 p.m., I'll use the arrows to get me back to my second start time, and then I will use the plus or the minus to take me to an off position. Now the off position is between 11.45 p.m. and 12 a.m., so I am going to adjust this 11 p.m., just past 11.45 p.m. and it turns that start time off. It, just between 12 a.m. and 11.45 p.m. is my off position. So now I'm not watering a second time, I'm only watering at 3 a.m. Bringing this down to run times. Uh, the ESP TM2 has, a capa uh, has multiple different sizes of clocks, uh, whether you have a four zone clock, a six zone clock, an eight zone clock, or a 12 zone clock. This particular clock is a 12 zone clock, although I am only using stations 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I have station 1 at 15 minutes and station 5 at 15 minutes, and the rest are all at 30 minutes. If I'd like to adjust the times on those, I can simply use, again, turn it to the station I'd like to adjust, such as station 2, and I will use the plus or the minus to adjust that station to water more or less time. Coming down here to run days. This is going to be the days when I choose where I'm going to decide what days I want to water. So, for instance, I have it set right now. It looks like it's set for Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, every day that has a water droplet next to it is going to water that day. If it has a circle and kind of X'd out there, it's not going to water that day. So let's say I have this set at 3 a.m. and I'd like to water Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So Monday is currently off. I'm going to hit the plus key to turn that on. Tuesday is on right now. I'm going to hit the minus key to turn that off. Wednesday I'd still like to leave on so I can hit plus. Thursday hit minus to keep it off. Friday hit plus and we can just leave Saturday and Sunday off. So simply when you're on your day that you're choosing either hit plus uh, to turn it on or minus to turn that day off. So now I'm set at 3 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Moving over here to sensor. You may have a rain sensor that is attached to your controller that will shut the sprinklers down when you get an uh, adequate amount of rain that you have your sensor set up for. Uh, this particular controller does have a rain sensor attached to it, so I do have it on active. If I would like to bypass the rain sensor, I can simply hit the minus button, and it is telling me sensor now disabled. My sensor is not being used. I would actually like to use my rain sensor, so I'm going to hit plus, and that will tell me my sensor is now active, so the controller will shut down when I get uh, the rain that I have this sensor set for. Moving over here to seasonal adjustment, this is going to be a percentage, so it's telling me my seasonal adjustment percentage is at 100%. I have the runtime set at 15 and 30, so the whole cycle is taking two hours on this particular controller, and I have it set at 100%, so it will take two hours to run through that cycle. If I was to adjust this percentage down to 50%, 
now it is only going to water 50% of the times I have set there. So it's cut my run times in half at 7 and a half and 15 minutes. That is some uh, function some people really enjoy. Um, I am going to turn this back up to 100% and that way it will water 100% of the way I have my run time set. Coming over here to manual station. You can choose to water the whole, all of your, all of your stations at any number of minutes you would like. So for instance, let's say I'd like to water every station for two minutes, kind of a test function. When I adjust that up to two, then I'm going to hold the arrow to the right key for about two seconds and it will turn all the stations on for two minutes. If I would like to water just one particular station, I can use the arrow keys to choose that particular station. For instance, station two, I'd like to water for 30 minutes. And while that is blinking, I'm going to again hold the arrow to the right key for about two seconds. And it is telling me that station two is starting and it will water for 30 minutes at one particular station. I'm going to turn the controller off to stop that from watering right now. That is how to turn one station on. If it is on auto run, and it's set to water its program, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 a.m. right now. If it's on auto run, I can also hold down the arrow to the right key for about two seconds. And it is going to run all of my stations right now if I walk away and leave the controller how it is. It'll water its two hour uh, cycle and then it will run its normal program cycles as well. While this is running on station one's running right now for 15 minutes, I can also hit the arrow to the right key and it will advance me to my other stations and I can advance through all of my five stations. <coughs> Everything I have set up right now is on a program A. So if I turn it to start times, it is giving me a little PGM A up here. That is telling me I am set to adjust my start times for my program A. This controller also has the capacity to have a B and a C program. I am not currently using the B and C program, but if I hit the program select button, it will move me over to a B program or a C program, which are just empty programs right now. They are not being used. You could set up a B and a C program for different schedules. Uh, keep in mind that if you do have a B and a C program set up and it has run times and start times and run days, this controller will run a A program, a B program, and a C program. Um, it will run all the programs you have set up. So you just have to be cautious that you're not setting up programs on top of other programs. That is everything to know about the ESP TM2. Uh, if I leave it on run, it's going to do its thing. The other option on this controller is you can make it into a Wi-Fi compatible controller. If you have questions and would like uh, are interested in that, you can always call Nebraska SOD and we can do that for you as well.